Hello! Welcome back to more Last Remnant. Uh, you can, at this point, I don't know if the game tracks time. No, it doesn't track time. I was going to say, at this point, you can ignore the actual, like, gameplay time because I've been sat here uh, doing nothing for about three hours without moving or even touching the controller. With the game muted, obviously, and I'll just sit there with the game audio on. Uh, so welcome to down here. On the left side, that might look familiar to you. Uh, the left side is actually where we were during the tutorial phase. And then this door right... The freaking sensitivity. What does shrink do? Oh. Is there a map that large? Good lord. Uh, the thing in about the center here... That door... Sensitivity is way too high. That door right there is blocked. So now we're on the other side of that. I don't think you can open that door from this side either, but we'll give it a quick check. We are specifically going over to the uh, right-hand side here. There will be a fight over there. I'm probably going to fight him. We should really fight him. Yeah, that doesn't look like a door you can open. Oh, really? It's just one dude, though. I really don't want to fight one dude. We should, because experience and stuff. But... I've gotten to the point already where I'm just, I'm too lazy for random encounters. Do we have to keep them off balance and crush them? It's a bit rude, don't you think? Let's see, we have three groups of three, two groups of two, that's kind of funny. But also kind of not. We'll just split it up like this, it's par for the course. I'm surprised I actually got that, considering I wasn't paying attention in the slightest, and I'm adjusting my volume, to be fair. And yet I managed to hit all of them. Rejoice. Also, there were a couple of videos, I think just two videos, where I done goofed and uh, forgot to adjust the volume, the audio levels, so... That'll be in the description, so you probably already know by the time we get to this point, but you know. Just in case you haven't read the description, two of, two of the videos you've already watched had weird audio. Welcome to the party. Try not to be late next time. Really? You don't- why don't you want to attack? You can recover with the cards. Just play it by ear, whatever. Hopefully they use good abilities, which they do. I don't know if you get a uh, damage bonus for doing play it by ear because of how random it is, but I don't know. It always seems like you do, but then again it's an RPG with some RNG damage rolls on it, so it, we could just be getting good damage rolls. I don't know, I should probably research that. Really, why does nobody want to use their specials? Is it because they want to heal for some reason? You don't need to heal, we're fighting lizards. There should be an achievement for chaining that entirely. There may very well be an achievement for chaining that entirely. Combat rod has been strengthened. Changed to freelancer. Lots of, lots of HP ups. HP ups are good. The more HP ups we get, the more confident I am in splitting uh, unions into smaller groups because they'll be able to hit, they'll be able to take more damage. Basically, that's a suspicious room. What is with this game and its suspicious empty rooms? Oh, yeah, those are the things we picked up for. I don't remember how much we paid her. It was not a, really a, a large amount of money that we paid her for those materials, and they could be handy, or could have been handy, you never know. Your feet. We haven't found a single red digging node, have we? Or at least used... Ooh, there's uh, raptors down here. Those are raptors, and they're the enemies we need the horns off of. The only other place that, at this point, that I'm aware of that they spawn are, at this point in the game anyway, are the, um... I don't remember what that area is. The first place we learned about, like, the collapse and stuff. I think we're gonna have you attack them, and you can attack that group. Hopefully that goes in the manner that I desire. It should. Don't underestimate them! Don't underestimate the wild raptors. 
Nice. Shield bash? No, just blacked out. Oh well. That's an AoE. That's a pretty powerful AoE, and we're fighting four of these things, so... We're gonna have to be careful about this. And also actually, you know, get our HP up, because we haven't killed either of the groups that we attacked, so we're gonna get hit by two flanks. Thankfully, raptors tend to go on, um... There goes my throat. Raptors tend to go on standby randomly. I don't really know why, but they do. Uh, keep your HP up, keep your HP up. Oh, uh, but you do such good abilities, I told you to do that. Their health is fine, actually. Let's go ahead and have them just attack. Better now? I am better now, thank you. We need to get this group killed. This turn. We need to get the other one killed this turn as well. We didn't, though. And that group might die. That group died. Well, you had one job, and it was to not suck. Now we're going to lose both groups. <sighs> well, didn't take very long into this video before I went too far and killed myself. Unless we get real lucky. We're not, because they're, yeah, they're both attacking and morale's all the way down. It didn't take me very long into this video to be an idiot and fight too many things at the same time. Which makes me a bit sad. Well, to be fair, it did autosave basically right before there, so it's not too bad. We would have been alright if that group had killed their target that turn. We would have been fine. We would have taken that crazy amount of extra damage that ended up killing them. Oh, I have freaking hiccups right now. Also, why is that door open? Was that door open last time? I swear we had to open a door over there. Should I fight them one at a time? I should. It's gonna result in less raptor horns that I desire, though, which makes me sad. Keep them off balance and crush them. It's this freaking group of four over here. And no one wants to use good attacks on it, either. You guys just play it by ear. Group of four men. She's dangerous. Like, look how we just wrecked this group. Why couldn't we do that last time? Probably because we attacked a group of four, I imagine. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I can't believe we got two counters. And I goofed. I goofed both of them. It, we, we almost never get one, and I goofed two in a row. I'm so sad. Seems our opponents are strong, as I hoped. It doesn't really matter because we're fighting half as many enemies, so even screwing that up only too fast. Even screwing that up, we're perfectly fine. Oh, we got five raptor horns out of that. Well, sure. I think we only needed three. Now we just need some gasoline copper. Which I suspect we don't actually get from here. Let's do this! Nice Smiths there, friend. The winner's the one who strikes first, yeah? Another group of four. Well, these guys are weak to Mystic, I'm pretty sure. Why do you want to use Quad Slice and Slap Smash on the group? So we're going to have the Mystic group attack the larger enemy force here. I believe the Mystic group is stronger overall anyway. Although half of the people in the Mystic group aren't actually doing their job and casting Mystic abilities. The half that are, though, they're doing good work. A flank attack. A dodge. We have remarkably high dodge chances, it seems. Which, you know, sign me up for that. At least I'm actually getting back into the groove of the critical offense thing. Our opponents are strong, as I hoped. I mean, you guys really don't need to help because I think they'll die before they actually get a turn. Because of Roland there. Roland does a lot of damage. I like Roland. New art. Excellent. Spark 2. I approve. Stronger than before. Fury Below 2, I also approve of. Crossbreak is pretty good, but it's not necessary. Hey, bulky wild raptor hide. We got two of them too. 
sign me up for that, if you don't mind. And I'm going to go ahead and spoil it and uh, ruin everything, but my frame rate's been fine, like, this entire time so far. I don't know, this game's, like, freaking... This game does not like being recorded, apparently. I believe we only have this little area next, which I think has rafters in it, maybe? I seem to recall there being the same enemy here as before. Weapon Recipe okay. 5. Sign me up. We have two more digs. Oh, there's lizards in here. It's also a teleporter. There's three lizards. Four lizards. We're not fighting four lizards at the same time. I don't see a do special diggy spot over here, so we're probably just going to go ahead and use up our two digs and then head into the boss room. I have no idea why we're not getting our special diggy spots, because there's supposed to be at least one in every area. We got intercepted, which sucks, but hey. It's their funeral. Now imagine if we had... Uh, double intercepted. Imagine if we had fought all four of these. That would be a lot of enemies. Now if we had five unions of five people, then heck yeah, we could fight all four of these guys and fight, you know, like nine enemy unions or whatever. Stay strong. But to be fair, if we had that many people, which actually is technically cheating, we just can't have that many people. Uh, if we had that many people, then we would be much later in the game. Is this all that's left is this too? It looks like it. Is this all that's left? Is that one? I like the effect on Spark after it hits something. The Spark effect, if you will. There we go. We're over a hundred chain I now. Love has grown. The special traits like love and bravery and stuff like that, uh, as far as I'm aware, the only thing that they do is affect reassessment rate. And I think that's just how high it is in general rather than what it is, but I could be mistaken. Um, as well as... What is it? I think how they act outside of battle, I think is what it was. I can't remember exactly. It affects some random bollocks that doesn't do really matter that much. I'd much rather have strength, intellect, and HP ups, but that was like a weirdly Scottish pronunciation of what she just did there. At least what me talking and trying to listen at the same time, it sounded like that. Ah, oh, crap. I hate when I'm too fast. It's not that it didn't matter because we were fighting a small group, but I hate when I'm too fast like that. It's always by some tiny period of time. It is better to be late, I suppose, than... Well, not late, but it's better to hit after than, like, right on. Or slightly nice before, because this isn't like a rhythm game. You, you can't hit it slightly before you're supposed to and still get credit. We only fought three in this? Whatever. These guys have a high rate of blacking out. We can dodge well and we can apparently pass out well. Roland has learned Spark 3. Mythia learned Double Strike for some reason. Stop learning physical abilities that I don't want you to use. For God's, excuse me, for God's sake, man. Am I doing my father proud? You are doing your father proud. You, however, need to stop doing that. Impressive, huh? Checking my stats, huh? I am checking your stats. Chill out. Who's he? That's McGrady. Yeah, these are people we're not using, so we don't care too much. We'll have to adjust them at some point when we unlock more union space and whatnot. But for now, like I thought, there's supposed to be a dig point back there, but there's not. I'm so confused. Where's my dig points? Whatever. Let's go. I pretty sure there's a dig point back here somewhere, right? Not not too far back. We'll go ahead and use our two digs on that. We've got the digs, we may as well use them. Unless it's really far back, and in which case, and although the only way to know if it's really far back is to run all the way over here, which is pretty far back. There it is. A rare item, well. Okay, later. I think we have a couple natural oil now. 
Oh, gasoline copper. Ho -ho. So I need one more gasoline copper and two people in the party. I think it was Blockter and Enma. I think her name's Enma. There's an N in it, it's weird. Uh, I think we we all three need gasoline copper, so I'm probably going to run back down here on my own and pick up some more copper. Oh. There's a, uh, there's a uh, digging point right there. Let's go ahead and hard save. Why not? We're up to battle rank 9 already. Battle rank is actually shooting up fairly quickly, all things considered. Um, why do you have enemies in your room? This is the boss room. Why are you in here? Can I get you to come out? Let's do this. They're not going to chain into the boss because the boss is a scripted force to counter when you walk in the room, but why are there dudes in here? There's not supposed to be. Someone in that group had an option to attack with Mystic Arts, I think is what was going on there. Spark 3! Surprisingly little damage. Reassess? Nice. Oh, we didn't kill him. I hate when that happens so much. Thankfully the other group is tiny and we're only fighting one, so... One... Group, I guess, is what you'd call it. Oh, crap. <laughs> every time, man. Well, not every time, but quite a lot of times. Why do you have two choices for combat arts? Sometimes I wonder about this game's order system. And then I realize that doesn't make any sense anyway, so we'll just move on. Nice, like, 20 damage. Thank you. This group is so bad unless they're using Mystic Arts, which I suppose makes sense considering that's like their entire job. We've got more Raptor Horns. We've got so much Beast Fur and crap that frankly I don't feel like splitting those, so whatever. I don't think he's gonna aggro from all the way over there, so we'll make a new hard save. Yeah, let's see how this this here fight goes. I'm sure it'll go well. Surrender your weapons at once. Oh, ho, ho. I like how we have like the freaking dude from Resident Evil just standing back there. Although now he has four eyes instead of two, but whatever. A return to Athel and open the front gate. Well, aren't you a bit presumptuous there? There's you and one guy. I don't think you could take Athlon with you and one guy. Admittedly, this one guy does a lot of damage and has a really big stick, but still. You do have something that belongs to us. A badly wounded man. No. You're under the illusion that I care. They're not written on paper, though. I suppose that means they have no value, because if they're not written on paper, then the paper they're written on has no value. That's a very roundabout method of saying that, though. And into the fight. I believe it's him and two, like, gargoyle things, which are also very annoying. Yep, him and two cargoily things. Black wings, as they are apparently called. These things have curse, which is bad news bears, and I believe it is huge AoE curse as well, so. We're gonna go ahead go ahead and have him just set up the field because he's gonna be way out of position anyway. And we'll have this group attack the black black wing. I don't know if they're weak to physical or mystic or neither. I will, however, hit my desk. Also these things multi-deadlock, I believe. I think everything in this fight multi deadlocks. If we can get this killed in one turn, which we won't, that would have been great. But instead, we'll just all get cursed. Intercepted? We weren't moving. How can you intercept something that's not moving? I guess I did give them orders other than standby, but still. 
This group's gonna get cursed as well, which sucks. Now the question is, who's the boss gonna hit? Also, the question is, how many of us have curse afflicted to us? And it looks like all of us, so... Looks like we're up against quite the nasties. So if you don't know what curse does, you're about to find out, and it's not good. Like, it's really quite bad, so... Brace for that, little funsies. Yeah, there you go. That's what Curse does. It kills you. If you try to act when you're cursed, it'll just straight up... has like a 50% chance of killing you or something stupid. On the plus side, one of the Black Wings is down. On the downside, almost the entire other group is dead. Also, that looked like it hurt a lot. We should probably have... some, uh... some Curse Resistance, I feel. Do I even have any equipment with Curse Resistance? I don't think I do. Glad neither of you died, then. They can at least keep themselves healed, although he's gonna Art Sap. Which is kind of annoying. Drains our AP so we can't do anything next turn. And we got intercepted, which sucks. Because I wanted that thing dead. Because we're still cursed. Quad Slice 3? No, just still Quad Slice 2. Oh, she's dead. <sighs> no, don't break deadlock. The sad state of affairs when everyone in your party is dead. And we have no means of reviving, so... And we have technically no means of removing Curse, because nobody knows the item art to remove Curse. Which is a bit silly. We'll have them keep their HP up, because there's only two of them. And they're cursed. Oh no, we're, go we're not cursed anymore, are we? Doesn't look like we are. We need too fast. The alternative, if possible, of course, is to just not act while your party is cursed. Just have them do nothing. It'll remove the percent chance of death, but then you have to basically just sit there and take beatings to the face for the rest of the fight. On the plus side, though... Looky here. Oh, he's groggy. We need them to heal, because it, I'm pretty sure this guy has the uh, roundhouse spinny thing. Which is pretty big AoE, hits pretty hard, you know the deal. Hammer spin, there you go. He's about to do it for us. Oh, don't double strike right before it. Don't hit both parties. He's hitting both parties. No. Yeah, well. It'll be alright. Hopefully this party doesn't die. Well. It's just him left, and he's gonna hammer spin twice. God dang it, I should've just left them over there. Well, it looks like they're out of AoE range. So we have a party of two and a party of one left in this fight. Oh. Uh, that party's leader died. Good. I didn't realize that had happened. I'm gonna go out of limb and say this was probably not gonna be a success, so we're just gonna go for damage output and see what we can do. That union's dead, for all intents and purposes. Surprisingly not yet, but for all intents and purposes it's dead. And so is this one. Can you at least kill both parties while you're here? No, of course you can't. Why would you be able to? There's no way to, like, just... Just go back to the menu, is there? There's not. We have to wait to die. Good job. Well played. Really, we need to not be cursed in that fight. And I should have remembered the fact that you get cursed in that fight and maybe seen about buying some anti-curse stuff, but... I don't think we have any anti-curse stuff, and I'm not sure how much anti-curse stuff actually helps. We have this, but... That's not much use for us now, is it? Um... I mean, I guess, I guess we'll just try again. Welcome to this game in a nutshell. Try again. On the plus side, we're gonna skip a bunch of text this time. 
Well, the downside, it's not a cutscene, so you can't just skip it all in one go. You have to individually skip each box. Which is stupid. Alright, well... Give offensive support. We're gonna get intercepted if we don't do anything anyway. That's their option, so... You guys attack that one. We'll have the other squad deal with the boss, I guess. They're gonna get cursed, though, regardless of what we do. Did you just one-shot rush? Did you just dodge your giant bird? Oh, you guys did remarkably little damage. It says resist. Those black wings must do something else other than curse, which they immediately do the first turn every time. Don't worry about that. But it says resist. I'm not sure what's going on there, so... So, Rush got one shot. That's hilarious and sad at the same time. How many people are going to die to Curse this time? I think the worst part of Curse is it takes so long for battles to actually play out because of it. Can you stop one-shotting people? I've never seen him do that before. We've lost this fight, by the way. It doesn't matter. Which I don't know why I say we lost this, because that entire union is basically dead. And neither of the Blackwings have been killed. Which is amazing, frankly. Acid burn. I forgot he does that. Ah, uh, lordy. It's a bad start to this fight. That's not much help. And then that guy's dead. This dude literally has killed four of five members of this union. Without killing the Union, and entirely because of RNG. Lissai. We do require assistance. You're top wrong. I wish your wing would stop showing up on the screen, that's annoying. And then she dies for no reason. And she was the one healing us too, which is great. That goes that party entirely, it's about freaking time. I wish we could, uh, just, uh, stop the fight, because we're not gonna win. Nothing we do at this point is going to let us win. There you go. What could we do to make this easier? Obviously curse resistance, we don't have any curse resistance, though. Splitting the unions into three would keep people from being attacked. It would also keep one party from being cursed. The other two would still get cursed. Just play by ear. Frankly, I'd rather they die, but the Black Wings, the Black Wings have a rotation, and it's going to be a while before they actually do anything useful again. This dude, though, he does whatever he wants. Which apparently is mostly hammer spend at this point. Now the downside is there's zero chance of killing Black Wings in one turn if we split our party. Yeah, 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 game over. I know. We've been here before. I feel like maybe we shouldn't be doing this fight in the manner that I am doing this fight. Who knows? Let us try yielding Delio here. So Roland has to be there. We're going to split you off and you off. You two can stay there. This union. You have chosen well. Excuse me. I'm gonna take Blockter off. And then you guys. Attack a front line to defensive flanks, enhances slashing. I think we're gonna go Arrow of Athlum for that. Put David in there because it's his party. Nothing because we don't care about attack. We mostly want defense. On that front, we should probably stack people who have relatively good defense. Like Otto and mayhaps McGrady. I don't know what abilities they have. He's got an upgraded combat halberd. 
He has heal. That will do. So that's our nine units, that's our three unions. We have two that are slightly under a thousand, but... It will have to do... I think. Russia's Union has no defense. So our biggest defense is actually still this one. But they have crazy good attack. Which is curious. <laughs> Either way, looks like our attacking groups are going to be David and Roland. I'm actually going to make another hard save, because why not? If we fail it at this point, there's going to be some... Uh, some editing involved, because I'm not going to show too many more failures at this point. You get the general gist. I suck at the game. The game dislikes me sucking at the game. And that's basically how it works. If we fail again, I'm probably going to go ahead and leave the area. Do some uh, gathering of resources, upgrade stuff, etc, etc. So this is Roland's group. Of course he's not in the actual proper position that I need the groups to be in for this to work. Free below quad slice, it doesn't matter. You guys do that to that. Sadly the group with the lowest defense is attacking the boss, but that's kind of just how we were laid out. With that knowledge I could adjust it and then sort it out better. Nice block. It's a good start. Intercepted for some reason. Somehow, I'm not really sure how, frankly. And there's the curse, as is par for the course. Only one person resisted. That probably would be explaining why they're not dying, I guess. I don't know how both units got intercepted, but whatever. How did you dodge your giant bird? Two resisted on that one. Like, we can't just tell them to not do stuff. That's not an option. So, we could just tell them to play it by ear, I guess, and maybe they'll sort it out themselves. There's the hammer spin. Hopefully this guy misses. He didn't. We should still survive, but it's going to leave us pretty low on health. Also, one of our unions is going to lose most of its members, because they're probably going to act and thus die. Yep. Zero damage. Unless play it by ear keeps them from dying. Does play it by ear keep them? No, 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 it doesn't. Okay. I was getting excited, but no. Uh, just keep your HP up. You guys are doing alright. You lot should probably... If possible, I would like to just remove that guy from the equation. I'd also like to remove that one from the equation. I'd like to remove everything in this fight from the equation, but that's probably not going to happen in the manner I want. What does Shock to do? I don't know. Double heal, though, is nice. Aw, oh, crap. He died, man. Avenge him. Dude, you can't block that. That's not fair. Now we're not going to do Devil's do, yeah. Should have seen that coming, because this is the turn where they actually aren't set. I forgot about that. And he's dead. So David's the only one left in that group. Here. This group still has two of its members. And I believe this is the turn where they mana well. Yes. So they break deadlock to mana well. Pretty sure they break deadlock anyway. Mmm, nice dodge. Why did he do 500 damage? We're not cursed anymore though. Look at that going for us. They are, however, almost dead. Apparently they don't break deadlock, by the way. If you're curious. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Keep your HP up. I'm suspicious that this is going to actually get them killed. But if we break that, they're going to get raid locked and probably killed anyway. 
Let's do hang in there. The Veeb can't heal, I don't think, so... Hopefully we get our heals off before he attacks, or we get lucky and dodge or something. This might kill us. It's only hitting one person, but still. Now we're right. Here's, here's the big one here, is does this group die? No, thankfully. Well, maybe, because I think it's using an AoE. It is using an AoE. Probably to kill everyone, I'm sure. Probably curse everyone. Oh, well, alright. I mean, I guess you can do that. Which probably means David's going to die as well, which means both Black Wings are going to be alive. Hmm. No, he's still alive, but he is frozen. Whatever that means. Also, Rush appears to have some sort of effect on him. But turn it around, David. You're the only one left on the flanks, man. Hey, look what I got. You got a. Ooh. Why did you change to knee splitter? This is not the time to knee split. Oh come on, he's so low on health. He's going to kill us though. Or he's gonna take a turn to do nothing. Yep. We're gonna die this turn. Is that Blackwing? It's gonna come over here and hit us in the face. Yep. Ah, this game. Well, I'm gonna go gather some resources and gain a few more levels, which hopefully contain HP and attack ups. And I'll see you guys here next time, I suppose. Hopefully with less dying. <laughs>